And histopedia as well, I, I, I think this is the most powerful demonstration of open educational content and remixing, and it's really great. I'm not doing it here because the, the internet connection is dodgy on this laptop. But you can go to histopedia.com slash timeline and type in a category name from Wikipedia. So I put in Age of Enlightenment, or you could do Battles of World War I, or you could do Composers for Loot. And pretty much instantly comes up this interactive timeline that you can scale to. And it's made from text from Wikipedia, images from Wikimedia Commons, and data like foundation dates, birth dates, publication dates from Wikidata. So it, it's a demonstration you do in a few seconds, and it's really impressive. And it's one of the things that Wikidata enables a fantastic project to have a session on tomorrow. So what number do we put in the graph for Histopedia? How many uh, extra educational resources are there because of Histopedia existing? Arguably zero, because it's, it doesn't contain educational content, it's merely a software layer over stuff that already exists. Or you could say thousands, because any category on Wikipedia, and there's, there's many thousands of them, can be made into a timeline. Or you could say because it's customizable, because you can take any combination of Wikipedia articles and arrange them to make the timeline of the concept you want to talk about, you could say it's an astronomical number. So um, it's just hard to count or, or put a label on what, uh, what open educational content this represents. 